you ever hate yourself? I do. Really depressing, isn't it? No. <laughs> well, okay. So there'll be times that I would actually find myself despising myself, but it's because that I will pick up mannerisms that I would recognize resemble people that have hurt me in the past or like I've really disliked them. But don't let that hold on to you because if you hold that to bitterness, that has a lot of other problems. But um, I'll end up like hating things that I, or like parts of me that, like a way that I even do like a cough or sniff or something or just a little tiny mannerisms. But like it's because I picked it up from somebody that ended up really hurting me or something in the past. And you end up really hating a part of you um, because of that. Um, now there's things like you know, when I was growing up, just like how I was wired I, and always being around people that never understood my mode of communication and all, and all that stuff and way of processing and seeing the world. Yes, that made it me like at odds with the world and whatnot, but that's a little different. I'm just meaning, does anyone else out there actually, I guess, adapt certain uh, quality traits, quality traits, quality, not very quality, but <laughs> adapt traits from other people and then recognize that it's similar to them and then you end up just hating a part of yourself. I was curious if anyone else is like that or maybe I'm just crazy. I am crazy. But, um, well, you know, whatever. doesn't matter anymore. doesn't matter. Let me know in the comment section below or if there's something else out there that is similar in that realm, that concept, I'd love to hear it. All right. See you in another video, another life you never know. Did you hear my dog? He barked. That's not my cute dog, though. Okay, he's cute, too. Shh. He's right there. He's under the floor. <laughs> Someone's home.